everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is on this look that you see right here. I was thinking to myself, what is more fun than being a queen dressing up like Barbie? And I couldn't think of anything else, so I was like, yeah, we're gonna do that. And uh, this is my first time ever doing drag makeup, so it is harder than it looks. Or not, <laughs> I don't know how I did here, but. This is my look for the Urban Decay Halloween collaboration. I am one of their Halloween contest judges, along with Lex, Made You Look on YouTube, and one other mystery, well by now it's probably not a mystery anymore, but mystery makeup artist. I was given the idea of fun, and so this is what I came up with. I thought it would be tons of fun to create this look because like I said, I've never drawn my eyebrows on my forehead and you have never really lived until you've drawn your eyebrows on your forehead. Am I right or am I right? I'm excited to show you guys this journey. It's it's not so much as a tutorial, but a like, uh, let's try this shit out together type of thing. You feel me? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this magical look and look scary in five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! First things first, we gotta cover these eyebrows. Even though I only have like four eyebrow hairs, we gotta get down to it. What we're gonna do is we're going to take some glue, and this is uh, this is Elmer's glue, and you're gonna rub this all up in your brows. Then, if you, if you have really thin brows like me, you don't really necessarily need a spoolie, but you're going to brush these out and just make sure that that glue has gotten through all of your eyebrow hairs. Once the glue gets kind of tacky, you're going to cover it with powder. For this, I'm using my Urban Decay Finishing Powder. We're gonna put a second layer, and you're basically gonna keep doing this until they are pretty much covered. Taking a little bit of Riff eyeshadow, which is kind of like an orangey eyeshadow, this is going to cancel out the um, brown of the brow. You're just going to place this on top. Now with Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay in 3.0, I'm going to place this over the brows and I'm dabbing because I don't want to disturb any of the hairs here. So it's the dabbing motion for this one, kids. Taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I like woke up with scratches like here and here this morning, so we're gonna conceal all that. And I got a bug bite right there last night. <laughs> then you're gonna spread your foundation around your entire face. We're looking more plastic, it's fantastic. Taking my concealer, I am now going under the eyes and on top of the eyes to conceal the entire eye area. And I'm gonna blend this out with my beauty blender, in pink of course. Then you're gonna set that area with your Urban Decay setting powder. Now going with brow beater and taupe, we're going to try and put our eyebrows where they should go. I'm basically gonna follow the same shape of my own eyebrows and just put them above it. I have never done drag makeup before. This is so nerve wracking. I'm shaking in my space boots. Now with some brow gel, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in. I'm gonna go in and make these a little bit darker. Now that we have the brows on there, well kind of, I had like, I had so many struggles with these brows, like I was about to have a midlife crisis on them and during this video, but I cut it out for y'all. So let's go in with the white eyeshadow and we're gonna create our fake eyebrow arch, brow bone. I'm also going to apply the white right here and all the way down towards the front as a fake lid. Now with Woodstock, we're gonna start creating our pink cut crease right above where we put that white. And we're gonna start here. Take this all the way in. Once you have that main area mapped out, we're gonna go back in and add more pink. Once you have the pink on there pretty evenly, you're going to blend this out very, very lightly. Now 
not using Urban Decay's 24-7 liquid liner in perversion. I'm gonna take my little brush and start drawing this on. And this is gonna be a very, very exaggerated liner, which I've never done. So let's see how this goes. Then that area that you outlined, you're gonna fill that in. Once your eyeliner is pretty much on there, um, somewhat even, you're going to take a white eyeliner and continue this all the way to the bottom, into your lash line and in your water line. Once you've whited out this entire area, you're going to take Chaos from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and a small little brush and we're going to make a fake lash line here. And I'm gonna meet this up with the black liner. And with the brush that's a little bit bigger, you're going to go in and just make this line look a little smudged out. Using Urban Decay's 24-7 liquid liner in demolition, I'm going to create some Barbie lashes in the bottom. Let's go ahead and finish off the eyes by adding a little bit of mascara and um, some crazy, insane, gigantic lashes. I'll be right back. Holy heck, these are finally on. I swear I thought I was gonna need the super glue for a second, but they're on there and now we're gonna do some contouring. We're gonna start with the nose and then go in for the cheeks. Drag queens always have perfectly contoured noses, so that's what we're gonna try for. And I'm adding a little bit of this at the tip of the nose. Now for cheeks, I'm just going to build this up for the perfect Barbie cheekbones. Contour my jawline a little bit. Now going in with a little bit of light highlight, we're gonna do down the nose and this triangle right here. Do I really look like a woman trying to look like a man trying to look like a woman yet? It's happening. Barbie wouldn't be complete without some blush, so I'm gonna go in and use Crushed by Urban Decay and just put this right on the apples of my cheeks. Then, Taking Bittersweet Liner by Urban Decay, I'm gonna overdraw the absolute shit out of my lips. This is the only time in life that I will not be made fun of for doing this, so let's begin. I have lip liner on my mustache. I have lip liner on my mustache. Now we're gonna fill that in. Now I'm using Urban Decay's High Color Lip Gloss in Scandal. I don't know why, but I always just picture Barbie having like super shiny, Sticky lips, so that's what we're gonna do. Now we're using Urban Decay's setting spray because when you're a drag queen, you party harder than everyone else and you are the last one to leave because you were saying goodbye because you have so many damn friends. So here it is. Um, I went in and actually just uh, darkened up this line here and darkened up the pink cut crease, so I just felt like it needed a little more something um, after these lashes. So here's the finished look, guys. Um, I've never done drag makeup before in my entire life, and this was really hard. You queens are like seriously talented because this is hard as fuck. Like, this is harder than normal makeup. I don't even know what I'm doing. But um, hopefully I, I did you guys proud, at least for my first try, and um, this is such a fun look. Be a drag queen for Halloween because they look fabulous and we don't. So yeah, do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you would like to see how to enter the Urban Decay Halloween contest, you can head over to their Instagram because I don't know shit about shit about the contest. So go over there. They have all the rules and everything for you. This just in guys, go ahead and head to udhalloween.com to learn how to enter this awesome contest and you will be competing for $500 worth of Urban Decay makeup. What? So exciting. So make sure you head over there to learn how to enter and I've seen some of your 
looks already and they are looking so fantastic and I really look forward to seeing more and good luck to you guys. Please don't forget to thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Halloween, bye.